hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the coupon entity with post coupon api and get all coupons api in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create the components and we will call these two apis from our angular application so let's get started here in our admin service we need to create the api to create a coupon and for this we can copy this add product api call and we can paste it here and after this we need to update the name of this method from add product to add coupon and in the params of this method we will accept the coupon dto and we will pass the same in the request body and after this we need to update the url which is slash admin slash coupons our add coupon api call is completed now we will copy the same method again and we will paste it here and we will rename this method to get coupons and we will remove the coupon dto from the params of this method and we will remove the request body as well and after this we need to change the method from post to get and with that our add coupon and get coupons api is ready from our admin service now let's right click on our components folder and we need to open this in integrated terminal and here we will write the command to create the component which is ng g4 generate c4 component and we need to name the new component as post coupon our post coupon component is ready now we will copy the same command and we will create another component to view the coupons and we can name this component as coupons our coupons component is ready as well now let's go to the routing file of the admin module and here we need to duplicate the existing product route and for the path we can pass it as post coupon and we need to update the component to post coupon component as well and we need to create another route for the coupons component where we will see all the created coupons and we can duplicate this line again and in the path we need to pass coupons and in the component we need to mention the coupons component now let's save this routing file and let's go to the html file of our post coupon component and here in this html file we need to write a tag for the div and we need to give a class of container and in this container we need to add one h2 tag and we need to mention add coupon and after this h2 tag we need to start the form tag and i named this form as coupon form and on the ng submit i am calling a method which is add coupon in this form we need to mention the controls of the coupon form and the first control we need is the name and for this we can write mat form field tag and inside this tag we will add the mat label and input tags and in the form control name i am passing it as name and at the end i added the mat array tag to show the errors after getting the name of the coupon we need to get the code for it and for this we can duplicate the same mat form field tag and in this mat form field for the form control name we need to pass it as coupon after the form field for the code we need to create another form field and in this form field we will get the discount for the coupon and the last form field which is required is expiration date and i used mat date picker for this and in the form control name i am passing it as expiration date and at the end of this form we need to add a button 
our HTML file is completed. Now let's save this file and let's write the TS code for this post coupon component. In the post coupon component, first of all, we need to mention the coupon form and we will import this form group here. And after the coupon form, we need to write the constructor for this file. And in this constructor, we need to inject the form builder to build this coupon form. And we need to inject the router to redirect the user after the creation of the coupon. After router, we need to inject the mat snack bar to show the messages to the user. And after mat snack bar, we need to inject our admin service to call the API. Let's import all these by clicking on this quick fix. And then we need to click this add all missing imports. After this, let's write the ng on init method. And in this method, we will initialize our coupon form by writing this dot coupon form is equals to. And here we need to use the form builder to build our form and we will call the group method. And here we need to mention all the controls for our coupon form. The first control we need is name. And for the default value, I am passing it as null. And for the validators, I am giving it as validator dot required. After the name, we need to mention a control for the code. And after the code, we need to mention the controls for discount and expiration date. Let's import this validators here. And our ng on init method is completed. After the ng on init method, we will write the implementation for our add coupon method. And in this method, first of all, we will write one if condition. And in this if condition, we will check our coupon form and we will check the valid property. And if our form is valid, then only we will call our API. And if our form is not valid, then we will show the errors to the user. And to show the errors, we need to use our coupon form and we need to call a method which is mark all as touched. And if our coupon form is valid, then we will call our admin service dot add coupon method. And in the params of this method, we will pass the value which we can get from our coupon form dot value. And then we will subscribe the response and we will write the arrow function and in this arrow function we will add one if condition and in this if condition we will check if we are getting something in response dot id which means that we need to check if it is not null and then we will show the message coupon post it successfully with the help of snack bar dot open method and after showing the message, we will redirect the user to the admins dashboard with the help of router dot navigate by URL. And if we are not getting the ID in our response, then we will show another message to the user. And this time we will get the message from response dot message. Our post coupon TS file is completed. Now let's save this file. And now let's go to the CSS file of our post coupon component and let's post the CSS code. You can pause this video and you can copy the CSS code or you can write your own. Let's save this file and now let's run our application. As you can see, our application is up on port 4200. Now let's open the browser and let's log in as admin. As you can see, after the login, I am on the admins dashboard. Now let's click on this post coupon button. And you can see here the post coupon form. Now let's write the data for our coupon. And for the name, I am writing it as first. And for the code, I will give it as first 50. 
and after the code we need to input the discount and I will give the discount as 50% and for the expiration date I will set it as 31 and now let's click on this add coupon button and as you can see we got the message coupon posted successfully now let's go back to our angular application and let's write the code for our coupons component we need to open our coupons component and inside the coupons component we need to open the ts file and here in this ts file we need to declare a variable and we need to name this as coupons after the variable we need to create the constructor for this file and we need to inject our admin service so we can call our get all coupons api and after this constructor let's write the method and let's name this method as get coupons and in this method we will call the api and we will use this dot admin service dot get coupons and then we need to subscribe the response and then inside this arrow function we can set the value in our coupons variable and we can use the response our api call method is completed now let's write the ng on init method and inside this ng on init method we will call this dot get coupons method so we can get all the coupons whenever our component will get loaded let's save this file now let's go to the html file of this component and let's create a div here and i am giving it a class of container and in the style i am giving the padding as 30 pixel now inside this div we need to add the tags for mat card and mat card content and inside this mat card content we need to create the table to show the coupons data and for that we can use the mat table and in the data source i am passing the coupons and inside our table we need to mention all the columns and the first column we need is coupon id and to get the coupon id we can use coupon dot id after the coupon id we will show the name of the coupon and after the name of the coupon we will show the discount and after the discount we need to show the code for the coupon and the last column we need is expiration date and to show the expiration date i am using the date pipe to format the date in this day month and year format and after this we need to create the header row for this table and in that header row we will mention all these columns and after the header row we need to give the logic to create the rows and to do that we can use let row and then we need to mention our columns now let's save this html file and let's go to the css file of our coupons component and let's paste the css code again you can pause this video and you can copy the css code or you can write your own one let's save the file and you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and here we need to click on this coupons button and you can see we are getting a table for the coupons and inside this table we can see a coupon that we just created a few minutes ago and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the logic to apply the coupon on the order.